In this video we will learn how to draw a very simple DNA structure. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the horizontal line. So I'm going to click on the line button, hold shift, click, and then hold down. I want to create actually a small line, something like this. And then I'm going to move this up to about four point. Let's make it, uh, it's kind of arbitrary, let's, let, let's make it blue. And then I'm going to uh, make a zigzag, but it's going to be a curved zigzag. So I'm going to go up to Effect, go down to uh, Distort and Transform, go down to Zigzag, change this to Smooth, so you can see the wave. We're going to do two. Okay. And we're going to make this a little larger so it looks, I don't know, like a DNA. Click OK. Now we're going to copy this by holding the Alt key and then clicking with my left mouse button and dragging. I'm just going to move along the horizontal about this much, not a full. We don't want to completely uh, have these things equal. Uh, we want it to be a little closer on this side than it is on this side. Okay, let's change. Let's change this to green just so that you can see the the spiraling, the 3D spiraling. Now we need to expand these objects. So I'm going to select both objects. I'm going to right, I'm going to actually go up to uh, object and click expand appearance. That moves it from a zigzag appearance to an actual curved line. Okay, now I want to cut this um, what I want to do is I actually want to um, I want to cut uh, first I want to cut along here because I want to I want this to be on the underside but this to be on the overside so I'm gonna cut using so you should see an eraser if you don't see the second column go up to window go down to toolbars and click advanced then click this eraser until you see the scissors. I'm just going to cut right there. Okay, and then I'm going to click on this object, right click, go down to range, bring to front. So you can see it's going under and then it's going over. You only need to do that to one of these lines. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do might not sound too intuitive, but I want to expand all these objects again. I want to make this actually a fill and, and not a line okay, or a stroke or a path. I want to make it actually kind of a curved rectangle. So I'm going to go back up to Object and then click on Expand and click OK. So now it turns it into um, these curved objects. That's the reason why is because whenever I s slice this or erase it, I wanted to create a nice um, e um, angled joint. Okay, it may not make sense now, but you'll see in the end why that is the case. Why I need to do that. So now I want to click on the eraser tool, and I'm going to click Enter on the keyboard. I want to change the angle to 90 degrees. I want my roundness to be all the way over to the left. And then size 100 points sounds fine. And I'm going to go over here. And now that I have the object selected, I'm going to just move it over here till I uh, erase all the way up to this point. Now what I want to do is I want to erase it on the other side, but I want to erase it right at exactly the same point here. I'm just going to give myself a little reference guide by clicking on the line, clicking on that top line here, holding shift, and going across. And I want to make this, I don't know, black. Okay. Now I want to erase this all the way up to this point here, because I want it to be at the exact same spot. So I'm going to highlight all these objects. I'm going to hold the shift key to and then click on this line because I don't want to erase that line. Okay, um, I just want to erase these lines. The erasing tool only erases the things that you have selected, or if you have nothing selected, it'll erase everything. 
Okay, so I want to go all the way up to here, which will be right at the exact same position. So I'm going to go all the way up to there, just like that. Doesn't have to be that exact, but we want to try to be pretty close. Okay, so now I want to do the, the cross bridges, the, the, uh, the base pairs. So I'm going to create some black lines here. Let's make it a little thick. I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back. Okay. And actually, I want to go over here and I'm going to click draw behind. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm copying. So you don't need to do that. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and I'm going to go along here. The main thing I'm worried about is. Uh, the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think nine. I want to, uh, I want to move this one over just a little bit. Okay, I want this to be a little bit of a gap here. Now I'm gonna, I want to select all the black objects, and they're kind of under the other objects. So the best way to do that is to click on one of those black lines. Go up to select same appearance. So it selects all those lines. And I'm going to equal these out. I'm going to equally space all these out. So I'm going to go up here to the top. If you don't see this control toolbar, go up to window and click on control. Now I'm going to go over here to this alignment and click uh, horizontal to distribute center. I'm going to click on these objects, holding the shift key to this one. I can just go ahead and delete that because it won't show up anyways. I'm just sizing this up. Trying to make sure no edges pop out. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to drag it over to the brushes panel. I'm going to release, click on pattern brush, click OK. Now you're going to get several options here and uh, this right here defines this right word corner. This, what this does is it tells you what the corners are going to look like. As it turns left, then as it turns right, right, and right. So I'm going to click down here. I want to do auto between. So it kind of stretches that object. And notice it changes this one, this one, and this one, but it doesn't change this one because that's a left turn and they, all of these are right hand turns. And this just defines the right hand turns. This, you see that it has an icon below here that shows which corner you're going to modify. I want to modify this one. We want auto between, click OK. I'm going to click away because I don't want to modify those lines. And I'm just going to use a pencil tool to kind of drag around here and click that. So now that is a DNA strand, a very simple DNA strand drawn in Adobe Illustrator.